Hey everybody, welcome to Home Groups. I'm so glad you chose to be a part of this ministry this year. Home Groups is a tremendous opportunity for you to grow in your faith, to connect with other believers, and to really understand how to do what God tells us to do. You see, in Home Groups, we're going to spend some time just talking about what we learned on Sunday, how to apply the Bible more concretely to our lives. Sometimes when we're in the big group, you kind of get big principles, you get a general idea, but home groups is a time to really sit down and, and talk through, how do I do that? How do I put my faith into action? How do I obey God's Word? So we have some questions that we want to give you to kind of help prompt that conversation, and your home group leader is going to guide you through that conversation, and I hope that you will have a wonderful time talking and learning together tonight uh, in home groups. So on Sunday, we learned from 1 John chapter 4, verses 1 through 6, about the danger of false prophets, the danger of false teaching. And he commands us in that text to test every spirit, to prove them, to kind of put them through an, an analysis and know whether or not they're true or wrong, whether or not they are of God or of the enemy. Well, the question is, how do I do that? Well, that's what John gives us. He gives us three tests or three methods by which we can, we can measure the authenticity or truth of a teaching. The first is whether or not it affirms the person, work, and authority of Jesus. So any message that you receive, whether it's from a movie or a song that you're listening to or a social media post or uh, a book that you're reading or a sermon that you've heard, what is the value or understanding of Jesus? Do they affirm and celebrate the authority of Christ? Do they affirm and celebrate the person and work of Christ? That's really, really critical and really, really important. So that's the first test. The second test is whether or not the teaching values and prioritizes the thinking and ideology of the world. So is it just a regurgitation of what the world thinks with a Christian veneer smeared over the top of it? That's the second test. And the third test is whether or not the, the teaching that you're hearing, whether it's from a movie or a social media post or whatever it might be, is corresponding to what the Bible says or does it contradict what the Bible says? You see, new teaching, new revelation even, if you would, will never contradict old or previous revelation. God does not contradict himself. So once God has said something, and we know that's true, then we know that everything else that will come after that will fit that pattern and match what God has already said, and maybe expand upon it or clarify it, but it will not contradict it. So if this new teaching that you're receiving, this message that you're receiving, whether it's from a movie or a social media post or a song that you're listening to or a sermon or a book or something like that, if it contradicts the clear teaching of Scripture, it's a false teaching. So with those three tests in mind, some things I want you to think about tonight as, uh, as a home group. What are some of the false messages that you are receiving? So what are some of the messages that are constantly being pumped into our minds and hearts through the world? Whether it's movies that we watch, social media feeds that we follow, um, songs that we listen to, books that we're reading. What are some of the messages that we're being told that are contradictory to the Word of God, that deny the authority of Jesus, that affirm and celebrate the values and priorities of this world. Think about those things and, and really get down uh, and, and try to understand what are some of those messages. Identify them, be specific, uh, and, and don't be content with just one or two superficial ones that everybody kind of agrees on. Think about it for a minute and really get into the nitty-gritty there. The second question I want you to consider is, how can we guard our hearts from ingesting those messages. So what can we do to prevent ourselves from just accepting what we hear without thinking about it, without testing it, without proving it? So how can we change the way we interact with messages on a regular basis? What steps can we take uh, to be more intentional about discerning what we're listening to? The third question is, what steps do you plan to take as you leave here tonight? So, you know, as, as, you've, as you sit and you talk, be specific about some steps that you as a group can take, that you as individuals can take. Like, what do you need to do specifically in your life? What needs to change in order to facilitate an actual testing of the messages? So when you go to a movie, do you ever stop and sit down and discuss 
And what was that movie teaching us? Because every movie teaches you something. They all have a message. So what is the message that that movie is trying to communicate? And discuss that as a family. That's a really good thing to do. Or if it's a book that you've read, do you ever sit down and discuss the message of that book with other believers and understand what is it really teaching? So those are some good steps, but you come up with some steps that you need to do in order to engage the messages that you're being told. And finally, how can we become more familiar, more cognizant of what God's Word actually says? See, the reality of the matter is sometimes we are just not as informed about the content of Scripture as we need to be. And we're easily seduced by lies and false teaching because we are not aware of what the Bible actually teaches. So, what can you do? What practical steps can you take individually and as a home group, as a church, to become more aware of the, of the overall teaching of Scripture, especially about the person, work, and authority of Jesus? So, that's what we're going to talk about tonight in home groups. I hope you have a great time. May God bless you guys.